A fraction is a way to show part of a whole. It tells us how many pieces we have and how many pieces make up the whole thing. Let's start with a simple example. Imagine a big chocolate chip cookie. If you break it into two equal pieces and eat one, you've eaten one half of the cookie. We write that as one half. The number on top is called the numerator. It tells us how many pieces we have. The number on the bottom is called the denominator. It tells us how many equal pieces the whole is divided into. So, in one half, the one means you have one part and the two means the cookie was broken into two equal parts. Let's try another. If you cut a sandwich into four equal pieces and eat three of them, you've eaten three-fourths of the sandwich. That's three out of four equal parts. Fractions don't just show food. You can find them when you share toys, fold paper, build with blocks, or even pour a drink. If you fill your cup halfway, you've poured half of the cup. Here are some words you'll often hear when talking about fractions. Half means one part out of two. Third means one part out of three. Quarter means one part out of four. Whole means all the parts are there, like four out of four or two out of two. Sometimes different fractions can be equivalent or equal. For example, two-fourths is the same as one-half because two out of four pieces is the same as one out of two. You might also see mixed numbers like one and half. That means you have one whole thing and one half of another. Try this. Get a piece of paper and fold it into four equal parts. Shade in two parts. Can you write that as a fraction? Now fold another paper into two equal parts and shade in one part. Do the shaded parts look the same? If yes, that means two fourths equals one half. They're equivalent. Fractions are everywhere and they're super useful. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA to learn more about fractions.